Welcome back Forester Dragons. We are going to be starting our new project today. We'll be learning about cubism, which is where you see an object from different perspectives, different points of view. So in this case, we're seeing the side of the face and the front of the face. It was an art movement started by an artist named Pablo Picasso. This is a picture of Mr. Picasso from 1908. Okay. When he first started drawing, he made his objects look like photographs. They were very realistic, like this painting you see behind me, which my grandmother painted. And then he got bored, so he got creative. So he started a movement called Cubism. And um, in this case, when you do your Cubist face, you're going to be giving me at least two perspectives. And we're going to be coloring it in with crayons using monochromatic colors. Mono means one. Color is, remember, an element of art, our tools we use to complete a masterpiece. Um, in this case, I used green, so the different shades of green. You can pick any color. Maybe you want the different shades of blue. It's your choice. We're also going to be learning about weaving and an optical illusion. So our warp is what we thread through, and our weft is what the... Um, the strips that we use to thread through, okay? Uh, we're going to uh, be doing a paper weaving with this optical illusion. Then we'll draw some radiating lines coming off our person. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna do the weaving part today. So let me go ahead and have you look here. Okay, Miss Esther, you know she has a mess, but art is messy. Okay. So I want you to take a paper and I want you to fold it in half like a book, okay? Once you have it folded in half like a book, I want you to put like a hand's width. I'm putting all four of my fingers here and then I'm gonna make a little mark about right there on my paper, see? And then I'm gonna start in the, the bottom corner and I'm gonna draw a curve line up to that mark. This is forming the shoulders and the shirt of my person. Okay. And then I'm going to cut it off. See? Now, I'm going to go ahead and color both halves of this before I cut it because I think that will be easy. And I'm also going to cut it kind of um, a little flat on the top like that. Okay. I think this time I want to do a pink shirt, actually. My markers are scented, so... Mm. I think I can't tell what this one is. Maybe cherry or something on the bubblegum. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color it. If you don't have markers, you should crayons or whatever you have. I'll show you what to do with that in a minute. I'm going to take a half a piece of paper. That means I took a paper, I folded it in half, and I cut it. So I have my half a piece of paper. I'm also going to color this. This is going to be my weft, what I weave through my warp. So I'm going to color it in a color that will go well. I'm going to use, I want to use, hmm, I could do pink and purple, but I actually, well, maybe I will do that. Or I could do pink and red. I'm gonna do purple. Okay. I can't tell. I think this is great. And I'm gonna color the whole thing. Okay. 
Okay. Once I am done, then I'm going to, first I'm going to cut this into strips. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want. I would recommend not too skinny because then it'll take you a long time to weave them. So I'm just cutting from the bottom up. Okay, I'm not cutting long ways, I'm cutting the shorter side, so it'll be a shorter strip. Okay. Okay, I'm going to set these aside. Okay, so I have my strips. Okay. Now if you have construction paper and you want to use that, that's fine. Okay, so to create the optical illusion, I'm going to create a dot in the middle of the folded side. So this is the folded side. Then around it, I'm going to draw some diagonal lines. Okay. Three, four, five. Okay. So I've got five lines drawn. Now, be sure you don't go all the way to the edge. I'm going to cut along those lines. Okay, so to weave, I'm going to take my strips. I'm going to start at one side. Now, because I'm creating that optical illusion, uh, it's going to look a little different. You may not be able to get in each section at once. Uh, so I'm going to show you. Here we go. Let's get started. So I'm going to go all the way to this edge over here. Okay, and I'm going to start under. So I'm going to go over this first and then I'm going to go under this one, and then I'm just going to leave it right there. You can see it's hanging off. The next one, I have to do the opposite. So on this one, I'm going to go under first, then over, then under, and then over. And then I'm going to leave it hanging off. You can see that. Then, again, so I have to do the opposite. So now I can utilize this one that I wasn't able to utilize. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go under this new one. But see, I have to be opposite this one. So I was under. So I have to be over. Then I'm going to be under, over, under, over. So it's going to, and I'm going to push it all the way to the top. So you're going to see. Always the opposite of the um, strip before it. So this next one, I'm going to have to go over because see how I'm under right here? So I have to go over, under, over, under, over. Okay. And then that one will push up. You can see how it's always the opposite. Now, I'm going to go again, and I'm going to go okay. and I'm going to go under, over, under, over, under. Always the opposite. So the next one has to be under, over, under, over, and let it hang off. And then my last one is going to be over, under. Okay, so there is my optical illusion weaving, but I'm going to trim off this bottom part. 
because I don't need it. It was just the long strips. So now my shirt is done. Okay. Um, I am going to show you the next step next week. I will see you good ne next time. Good job. Bye, Forrester Dragons.